Hey friends, Miss Annabelle here. It's so good to see you. How's everyone doing? Some of you are home, some of you are in school. So I just wanted to pop in here or, and say hi. I have a cool activity I thought we could work on together. Um, here we go. We're gonna talk today about um, like positional words. And this will help us because when we read, when we read braille, when we read large print, whatever it is, we need to know um, where the right, the left side, up and under, all sorts of good stuff like that in the middle. So we hear those words, right? But what, what do they really mean? So we're going to uh, have a fun activity so that we can practice um, our positional um, those positional words you hear sometimes, like raise your right hand or raise your left hand. So what does that mean, okay? So we're gonna have fun. If you have plates, if you have spoons, um, I'll show you some, uh, some of the things I have today and that could give you a clue, an idea, mom and dad, of how um, you can um, move forward with this activity. Anyway, here we go, let's get going. So, so, some of my uh, work friends um, started this book for us. <clears throat> As you can see, it's a little old. We've been using it a lot. So this is a really neat um, activity and you could use this on a black background. We actually made it into a book because we travel with it. But anyway, we got some bags from the dollar store and as you can see, they're really bright red. Just so that my students can, can see it, whoever has low vision or um, has that issue with the contrast we have that so anyway very simple we talk about where is my red gift bag or where is my bag and so that's kind of like my title of my book and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be moving my bag depending on what I'm going uh, what I'm talking about I'm gonna be moving it as I go okay so this is page one Page two, I'm talking about under. So then I would remove it and I would I would let my student know, hey, can we put the bag under the yellow strip? Under, and we would review under. And then we would put, oh, there's the bag, under the yellow strip. And so if my student get that gets that, I could say, oh, can you now grab the bag and put it under your chair? So I would have my student grab the bag and put it under the chair. Or, ooh, let's put it under the book. And there it is. And then we can think of other things. Let's put it under my table. Ooh, let's grab it and put it under the table. Oh, it's gone, it's gone. It's under the table. Sorry guys, my little friend over here is just making tons of noise. He is ready to take a nap again. Okay, so that's just an example of what you could do with your red bag. Oh, and then I, um, oh, sorry, I said I had to travel with my bag, right? So my next page talks about over. Ooh, can someone help me place my red bag over the yellow strip? Over. So there it is. And then we could talk about, ooh, let's put it over, and we can talk about other things around your, your room, playroom, wherever you're at, in the kitchen, and we can have our student practice what over means. Okay, my next one. As you can see, I have a right and left, and I would tell my student, okay, you ready? I'm gonna trick you. Let's see if you can put your red bag on the left hand side and we can talk about this is a little complicated we have the yellow strip but I can just say oh let's put it on the left hand side and so they're really really gonna have to think and it's like oh there's a the left hand side yes yes good job okay grab your bag <gasps> can you put it on the right hand side oh uh, no that's the middle you're very close <gasps> let's see if you can do it on the right hand side and then sometimes what I will do is what hand do you write with if I know my student has is right-handed that is your right hand side or if they use a cane for example I usually ask or observe what 
how they grab their cane and that really really helps my student because then I could say hey what what hand do you grab your cane with that is the right hand or right hand side and so that really really helps my students so anyway this is an activity that you could do with with them um, and like I said I got these at we got these at the dollar store I think Miss Josefina helped us put this one together but if you're at home and you don't want to go to the dollar store, you don't want to purchase anything, you can just, you know, have a black background or a solid background. It doesn't necessarily have to be black. It could just be a solid. Grab a sheet um, from your bedroom and then you can just use whatever kitchen things you have. And we can talk about where's the left hand side, where's the right hand side. Oh, can you put it in the middle? We could also talk about that. If you have toys, shapes at home, this is even per even better. We could talk about, hey, can you put the circle on top? Where's the top of your page? Or where's the top of the sheet? And then the student would hopefully do this. Okay, that's at the top. You ready? <gasps> and then I have, you can also use spoons. If you have colors, we can talk about um, also colors and, and um like I said, right and left hand side, so I would have a spoon and a fork. Okay, you ready? I am going to trick you, friend. Close your eyes, don't look, don't look. Okay, I want you to put the fork on the right hand side. And if, 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 we, if our student can, if you can give our student two directions at one point, we could do fork on the right and then spoon on the left and see if they could follow those directions okay so anyway that's just an example under under up left right um we could also talk about the middle and what's really neat about this activity is we depending on what you have we can discuss shapes we can discuss colors we can even count or i can play a game like okay johnny or okay friend close your eyes i'm gonna trick you close your eyes close your eyes don't look don't look and so i would I would do something like this and then open your eyes oh okay don't touch anything and then we would ask where is my fork my yellow fork is on and then hopefully would they would say on top or on the bottom or depending on what you're reviewing you could say under um, so anyway that's kind of also something fun okay let's see if you can find close your eyes close your eyes where is my circle? And so they would say, oh, it's to the right of the book or to the right of the mat, whatever it is. Um, that's that's what you could do. Anyway, I, I guess what I'm saying is you could use anything you have at home, any cool activity or any cool, just any cool, um, or anything you have in the kitchen. As long as you have something for your student to kind of move around and you can talk about those um, directions. And this will help with reading a lot. Um, like I said, it's an everyday thing that they're going to need. So anyway, hopefully you have fun and we will see you soon. Have a good one. Bye guys.